Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews and on this episode we're going to be going old school with the Johnny Petraglia LT48. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're going to be taking a look at the new Johnny Petraglia LT48 by Brunswick. Now even though this is the newest in the vintage line, this might be one of the best new balls we've seen all year. Yeah, Jason Sterner is um, replacing his Versamax in with this ball because it's very versatile. And um, we found that it really blended out the shot well. It, there was real no over under to it. Yeah, when I was talking to Jason a little bit earlier, he was saying how this ball was so versatile, it allowed him to play in places all over the lane. And it was like having, well, two or three different balls because he could play it inside, play it outside, play wherever he wanted. So why don't we take it down lane side, see how it was drilled up, and see how it stacks up. All right, so here we have Tom Christu, our guest bowler for the new Johnny Petraglia LT48. Yep, um, he's bowling on the Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Yeah, now this is a 37-foot, what we would consider a uh, house shot. Yeah. Now, this ball is so versatile, Tom is actually able to swing it out past where he would normally play. Yeah. He's usually a 10-10 uh, to 10 player with his speed. Yeah. And it's allowing him to create a little bit more motion to the outside of the lane yeah. without having the ball skid too much. Yeah, and well, it's not charging back too hard either. It's what well, we briefly talked about at the intro. It, it's got a nice motion to it. It doesn't over or under react, really. Yeah, you see, you got that one in tight and still carried it out. Still carried it out. A little bit of a wall There's shot a wow, there. Yeah. Um, yeah, now Tom, being a 10 10 high speed, low rev player. This allows him to, to not uh, really be susceptible to when the, the lanes dry out earlier on. The ball really gets down far before it makes its move. Yeah. Now here we have Wayne. He's our low-speed, low-rev player. And looks like he's playing a little bit farther out, too. Yeah. And, I mean, this this is truly what the ball was designed for, players like this. Um, I, I'm sure he probably threw one of the originals. Um yeah, he's a little bit wider, and you can see it's just coming up nice for him. Well, this is the third version of it, I think. They had the, the LT, then the LT Gold. Oh, oh, yeah. So this is the third one. He's yeah. probably thrown a few Which of these. Is, yeah. You know, being that he's so old, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can kill us for that. Yeah. But you can see, this is this is <coughs> Wayne's bread and butter shot. Yeah. It allows him to play uh, without having to worry about the ball overreacting because of his slow speed. Yeah. Yeah, and if he misses outside, it gives him an option, like a bumper kind of thing. Like, you you want room like you don't want to have to hit that one board all the time this gives you kind of opens the lane up for you yep and being a, a higher rg ball than a, a lot of the ones that you see out there it does wait to to kick up until farther down the lane so it still yep. has a lot of energy when it gets to the pins and here is mr scoops himself oh i enjoyed this ball hugely you can see i am playing where i normally don't get to play um, with my increased uh, rev rate this season, um, I can't play as much outside as I like. Um, this ball, I was bouncing. like That was a little tighter, 10 in. But <clears throat> I can get this. That was playing up 8, out to 5, even 3 a couple times, I think, here. It's it's very smooth, well-controlled ball. Yeah, getting out, that was about 8 there. Yeah. And that's the nice thing with... Uh, I'm not sure... Uh, who came up with the formulation of this cover stock? But whoever they were were a genius. Yeah. Uh, because it is so smooth. And there's one of those wide shots. Yeah. See, just beautiful. This um, nice recovery. Yeah. For for a ball that doesn't overreact to the dry, it still has a lot of hook yeah. when it gets down lane. And that's something, I mean, that's something we haven't seen since the Versamax. Yeah. Something that could be so played on so many various conditions. Yeah, exactly. 
in so many different lines. Now, I got to throw this, and let me tell you, you can see here, I'm playing in new territory too. Even I'm able to move out and yeah. really swing that one to the edge of the lane. Um, and that's something I haven't had in my bag in quite a long time. When we reviewed the ringer, I still played pretty much straight in the middle of the lane. Yeah. And this ball is actually allowing me to get to the outside and create more angle. Yeah, it's beautiful. And one thing people may not know about this, uh, our house, really there's um, not a lot of recovery from outside five. Um, this ball was coming back from out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple when I was when I was warming up to do the shoot that I was getting out to the, the two board and yeah. was it was just transitioning yeah. nice and charging to the pocket. Yeah, and that's a good good term charging because it's not aggressively running at the pocket or anything like that. It it just makes us move and it continues and on. Yeah. 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 Got one more up here. You can see I brought this one in a little bit more just to see how it would carry in the oil and it just it transitioned beautifully. Yeah. Alright guys, that about wraps up our look at the new Johnny Petraglia LT48 from Brunswick. If you like what you saw today and want to find out more information, don't forget to check us out on Facebook at Laneside Reviews. You can also follow us on Twitter at Laneside Reviews and like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So until next time guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program is sponsored by Brunswick Bowling. Turbo driven to bowl for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumb assemblies we use in all of our equipment. The Row Zone Bowling Store, located inside the Brunswick Zone Mississauga, for all your pro shop needs. Dexter Shoes for the Dexter SST8. And Bowlerama for supplying all the lanes we film on.